Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today's reading is timeless and it's going to be random. Just random messages. Today in the jar we have got quotes by Lester Levinson, just full of Lester Levinson. I did this on the weekend. I was reading his book, I think it's called Happiness is Free and while I read on my Kindle, I highlight so many bits and these are some of the highlighted bits from that book. I'll put the title of the book in the description below in case anyone's interested. I've also got this, uh, I think this is called the Sacred Mysteries Oracle Deck and the Sacred Destiny Oracle Deck as well for each group. So as usual, please choose from between group one, group two or group three and I will see you in your reading. Hi there group one. So if you chose group number one, you chose this beautiful, I think it's called the Italian Renaissance deck. But before I draw from the tarot, why don't we take some oracle cards first and just see what comes through. This will kind of set the scene and then we'll draw the tarot and then we will get hmm, something in there wants to pop out. How about that one? Um, and then we'll get some good old quotes from Lester Levinson. So let's see, let's set the scene. Let's see what's going on here in a general sort of a sense. And as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please discard what doesn't. Because these are general and quite a few people tune into these. Oh wow, great start. Strength. Beautiful. Wow, power. Oh, how fantastic. Group one, who are you guys? Okay, this is a good start. Love it. Already very intrigued. Let's see what Tara has to say. Okay. If we need more oracle cards, we can get them later, but let's see what's going on here. Okay, we'll take this. We'll take this. This is jumping out. Let's shuffle a little bit more. We'll get two more. Okay. And... Hmm, no, nope, don't know. Keep going. I want it to be obvious. <laughs> that one. There we go. Okay. Right, so let's see what we've got going on here. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got the death card. Gee, that's a heck of a start. Strength, power, and death. Right. Okay, so something's ending. Okay, something. this is nothing to be worried about. In fact, this is a very good thing. I think some massive thing is clearing out of your life. I mean, these, wow. And already, you know, we've got kind of Scorpio, heavy kind of Scorpio type energy, strong Mars, strong Scorpio type energy already present. How incredible. Let's keep going here. Okay, you've got the Eight of Cups. You are definitely walking away from something. So we've got a massive ending. I think you are in your strength, in your power here. I don't particularly sense that you're, I think you're in a really strong place. Let's keep going and see what we've got here. But you, there's death, there's an ending, you are walking away. I mean, one after the other, this is just telling a story already. Uh, okay, we've got the nine of pentacles, fantastic. This is a, card for you know a solitary enjoyment of wealth i think you know you're coming into a time into a place where you are very independent you're very strong you're powerful yeah massive ending you're walking away but i don't particularly see you in a bad way i don't see you you know uh feeling bad about this I feel I see you being really strong and really independent right now so this is great if you're due to go through something like this know that you're going to be just fine you're going to be doing great that's a terrific card to get there that nine of um yeah I think you're tired 
and you've been tired of now this can be competition but I'm also getting in my head right now like games or this kind of thing or your your you know when this is upright the five of wands this is competition it's quite a few things but I mean I am getting a sort of yeah the word game came in and it's like I don't know I think there's something about you you just don't want to do this anymore and yeah I just had the word pop in my mind ready you're ready you're ready you're ready like there's this readiness here I mean this introduction this opening of and this is number one as well this is so Mars that it's unbelievable wow but I, there's something about you 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 don't want to do this anymore or, or you're done there's something you're done with you just you're done kind of thing yeah okay what have we got here god i'm so curious all right so this is the page of pentacles in reverse and i'm kind of getting this sense and feeling that yeah you're not a child anymore there's some there's some level of life that you are done with that you're like and it's interesting because the fridge I don't know if you just heard that but the fridge kind of it didn't go off but like it's noise that it keeps constantly making that went down as well wow big energy here gosh this is I, I want to take one more I want to take one more of these but where was I with this I was yeah this the thing that I'm getting with these two is that there's some level of life that you're just done with it you're like I'm done I'm done with playing the game in this way I'm tired of and it can be something like mm, I also got her like heard I'm tired of being pushed around as well I'm tired of being pushed around I'm tired of playing my life at this level I'm tired of games of this level I'm tired of and it's it's this is linking in with your independence massively and what you want is you, is you want this this picture right here this is what you're tired of and this is what you want this is kind of a map actually of you know of what what you would like to see happen if this hasn't already happened or if this isn't, isn't happening this is what you want you want to be this strong powerful person who is ready that yeah let's let's this I don't want to do this anymore I'm walking away and I'm going to be independently happy that that energy there is is really fantastic massive transformation right there let's draw I'm, I'm going to draw one more of these for this let's just see what we get and then we'll get some oh is that too many hmm let's take them yeah <laughs> three okay so we've got and i'm kind of this well let's see where these belong okay so we've got 12 serenity okay unity beautiful look at that is that um that's lord shiva and his divine counterpart who are one you know look at that they're beautiful and they are one we've got detachment okay this is pretty incredible so let's move let's, what have we got here so i'm going to move all these three here because i think these three are going together mm, are they though hmm no they're not i i see these over here as well you're done with this there's something here that you're really done with you don't want to do this anymore and you've had enough and this is all this story here this is this is the main story this is it and this is what this strength power walking away is is going to bring this these yeah here we go now we've got it unity and detachment detachment is going to serve you right now this is what you need you you're going to need to be detached 
And the outcome of what it is that you're going through is going to be you being independently wealthy and you living your dream, you know, and it, and it can be unity. This can, if part of your dream is you want to be with someone, yeah, that you will be with someone for sure. But I feel like detachment is what you're going to need. And this is going to break away. And I think this, this was a time in your life, you know, and I'm kind of thinking of um, this character from Vanity Fair and he says, yeah, he's tired, he's weary, he's tired of living life at this plane. Like it's a really great speech he makes. Let's see what Lester has to say. Let's draw a couple of these. Okay, we'll take these two, see what happens. How exciting. I love opening these up, it's quite fun. All right, let's see what is coming out here okay i'm gonna yeah wow the world is a play act you have written in your imaginative mind the script the acts and the actors and yourself as one of the actors recognize this and dwell in your authorship how fantastic yes it is and it's funny that i just mentioned that uh, speech that okay now I've got a car honking all right maybe some kind of confirmation there I don't know but um, that speech by um, by Captain Dobbin in Vanity Fair and uh, yeah the world is a play act yeah of course how fantastic that that pops up as well all right let's see what we've got here uh, okay the difficulty in discovering our purpose and goal in life lies in the fact that because we are infinite we can make ourselves infinitely small whoa that is cool that came out here because look at these look at look at i mean you've got that look at these two right i've never seen a combo like this i mean that's you there's nothing small about you and but look at that this is the scam of this whole world right we come here and we we, we put infinity in a box. That's what it is to be here, you know, and it's ridiculous. And, and at some point, we all wake up to that. We all wake up to, you know, just how ridiculous that is. And at some point, we drop the box and we be infinity, you know. We, we be our infinite, beautiful selves. And, and infinity is, is where love is and, and God and no limits, feeling free, being your true self, being who you are expressing your real authentic self that's what it's all about and I think that you're coming to a time in life where you are just you're just going to be doing that and it's it's not going to be yeah I'm also getting the, the sense that it's not far away be detached that's that's going to be important and you are going to achieve this incredible serenity you're going to feel the unity with all of life Oh, how beautiful. Group number one, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you. And apologies if I'm quite late in getting back to you. I have to catch up, actually. I've just re realized I have to write back to last week and a couple of other videos. So I will get on top of the comments eventually. But um, please know that I do read everything. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. You've got the Light Seers deck here. What we'll do before we draw the tarot is we'll set the scene by drawing some oracle cards first. So how about we draw one of these and then we're going to have one of, now I think this is called Sacred Mysteries and the next one's called Sacred Destiny. I got that right don't know <laughs> I always forget the name of these decks I'll put them in the comments below I've had to cancel my um, Amazon affiliates thing it wasn't really yeah they sort of said oh you're not really no one's clicking on it so I don't know whatever <laughs> I'll just put the names it doesn't matter I gave it a go Ali Abdal says you should do the Amazon links and all that I did Ali Abdal it didn't work out <laughs> oh dear all right that's okay, I've got, I've got a lot of readings, so I don't have to worry. 
I'm very busy with readings actually I'm loving it as well okay that one there we go let's see what we've got I'm so excited oh beautiful flow yes that's fantastic gosh wow there's quite a lot of flow going on there that's good <laughs> I like it it's kind of like um child boy it's like it's like a circle of life wow how beautiful I never saw that before I haven't seen this card okay very interesting oh how wonderful look at that enlightenment this is beautiful gosh let's take a good close look at this that is dreamy I love that wow how cool well you're off to a great start group number two my goodness let's see what you've got in your tarot this is very exciting now as with any of my readings guys please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't we'll see what we've got here shuffle one more time there we go all right let's see what we've got so we have the moon yeah it's quite a time of introspection maybe you need a bit of time on your own time just being time with the subconscious mind there's a lot of water here and you're being asked to, fl to flow as well so that's great lovely nice energy so far so good oh how wonderful nine of cups beautiful you guys are doing amazing this is a gorgeous card to get look at that and inside look the whole world might be falling apart but where it counts is on the inside and how you feel inside I'm seeing that you are you're doing really well here everything so far is just stunning great energy aha yeah okay the five of swords in reverse this is so incredible because I don't know this card has been following me around I, I need to look into this I don't know why what I know about this card is that it is something of like an empty victory when it's upright see look at him he's got quite a bit of a headache here and this crow is kind of talking to him right and there's something to do with an empty victory okay someone's having a good time here but he's not in the reverse maybe you're experiencing a some kind of I kind of want to say the phrase I've got in my mind is some kind of genuine victory or something over something but like I don't know there's something for you to feel good about weirdly like <laughs> because like and maybe it's to do with some situation where I don't know you thought you thought it it wasn't going to come good or something maybe this is forgiveness we've got to see the next two they might clarify okay yeah wow the end of heartbreak this is so beautiful this is okay I have to see the next one okay well right there's there's a okay I think things are going incredibly well for you right now I think you're in the flow your mind is you're nourishing your mind with all the right things okay so that's great and I think and I think you are being introspective I think you're probably not you're probably not in the mood to socialize but you don't need to or you don't want to because look at that you got the nine of cups you're happy being on your own actually you're finding all this happiness within and what I see here is I see a major healing of heartbreak and possibly this this is about I think forgiveness or there is a sense that maybe all is not lost or, or that things are going to come really good that there's something great happening here 
and that is to do with love life. Now this can be a card of boredom, but I don't, I'm not seeing this that way. How I'm seeing this is like a bit of a pause. I think you're, I'm seeing this definitely more as a pause. I don't see that there's any boredom energy here. I, there's too much love on the table. There's too much flow. This is great. These four cards here, these two and these two, they're fantastic. And it's kind of like, I feel like there's some time that needs to pass for these energies to just settle down, for you to just recognize and realize. Because see, if these were like this, then, oh man, you're going through some pain. When they're like this, it's like the pain is behind you. You don't need to... You don't need to worry anymore or yeah i don't know such good energy here this is really great i'm very happy for you group two this is very nice and i think this is this is the this is like this is time moves so slowly you know it's that it's like and i think like there's i think you're being prepared for a very lovely new chapter that's that's just really wanting to open up it's incredible okay let's see what's going on in here i'm interested to hear what lester levinson has to say my current favorite spiritual teacher what is he let's get a couple of these okay that's one let's get two <laughs> all right It'll be very interesting to see what comes here okay have to do this through Okay, what does it say? It says, no matter how much trouble man can get himself into, God is more resourceful in getting him out of it. Yes, oh, that's this. And, and, and God is far more resourceful. You know, sometimes when we have heartbreak or a problem, or and this could be some kind of, do you know, I just realized this could be a work situation as well. This could be some competition at work. This could be some problem at work. And God is more resourceful in getting you out of whatever problem that you're in when we're in especially when we're in this okay when we're in heartbreak gosh i mean it can honestly it can just seem like how on earth can this heal or be repaired or recover i mean it, it can't be seen sometimes and this kind of is God is more resourceful in getting you out of it. I mean, God and God is love, okay? So God is love, is the universe, is the all is one. And I was thinking about this last night, how, you know, God's power is like, is like a supercomputer power or something. Like we're all on dial-up with our worries and anxieties and fears and all that. And like just a nanosecond of love can just come and fix everything. It's just incredible. Like the power of love is out of this world. It's so, it's so incredible. And that love is not something that comes from the outside. As Lester Levinson teaches, he says, that is what you are. That's just, you know, that's it. It's not outside of you. It's within. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, I'm so excited. You're in good shape, group two. And if, if you're going through something in life where you're like, you're feeling like you're not or it's just flow just go with the flow and there's a cycle of life here hang on oops it's, yeah there's a cycle there's a natural cycle of events circle cycle you know let go go with the flow Let's see what's in here oh this is a big one okay uh, if you get caught up in a game you're caught up in an eternal illusion. The game will never end. And if you're in the game, you're away from your infinite beingness. There is always a certain limitation in the game that will always keep you from being fully satisfied. Yeah. And you know, I think that that's linking into whatever this is, these two cards. It, it's kind of like, because um, this could be some work thing as well. Let's have a look here. 
you get caught up in a game. The game will never end, yeah. And then the game, you can substitute the word game for the world. If you get caught up in the world out there, you're caught up in illusion. If you get caught up in fear, if you get caught up in fighting, look at this card. If you get caught up in fighting or a battle or something like that, um, or an empty victory or someone wanting an empty victory. And you know, when I thought about this card and the concept of empty victory before this reading, it's funny I was thinking about it. Because, yeah, I don't know, since I've been seeing it around. Anyway, um, I was thinking about empty victory and how, like, the, the mind can think it's won. Because I'm thinking of the classical depiction with the man who's holding swords and the others have turned away. And it's like, he's won the argument but his heart is cold and that's not you that's not that's not you at all you're you're not that so uh, this advice is really interesting because i think you fully understand this and i think you're i think you know this wisdom and you're being true to it the game will never end and if you're in the game you're away from your infinite beingness I think you're very connected to your infinite beingness right now. And I think there's a little part of you that's kind of like, what's next? <laughs> Let's see. We've got, we got, oh, what should we do? Let's just take one more of these. Because oh. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to draw another card to just see. Maybe can we see what's coming next for you? Let's take one more. I'm being greedy. Okay. What do we have here? I think, what does that say? Oh, yeah, 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 I know this one. I remember this one. If you want more joy, don't enjoy the thing. Enjoy the joy. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. And that's this. It's like, yeah, don't, don't, don't be looking for the next thing. Right, because I was just saying, like, what's next for you? Whatever it is that is the next thing. And if you feel joy from it, don't attach, just enjoy the joy. This is such, I mean, it's just a one-liner here, but this is so deep. If you want more joy, don't enjoy the thing, enjoy the joy. Enjoy the feeling of joy and don't attach it to stuff out there. Okay, because it's through the attaching of the joy to something out there that then, you know, if something out there isn't around, then you, you'll be depressed kind of thing, right? So guys, this was so much fun to do this reading. Thank you so much to everyone who came for group number two. You're all amazing. Great energy here. Thank you so much. And um, right below, let me know how you got on with this reading. I would love to hear from you. And I'm a bit uh, behind on comments, but I will get there eventually. So Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Before we draw the tarot, let's set the scene by drawing a couple of oracle cards and see what is going on from a higher level perspective. Oh, which one? I don't know, because that one's poking out as well. Let's just shuffle again. Okay, take that one. Yeah. All right, and we'll take one of these. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. Okay, that one's really wanting to be part of this, so let's take it. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Ooh. Oh my goodness, this is excellent. Fortune, look at that. This is beautiful. Obviously, that would be the divine goddess Lakshmi. She's very stunning. Wow. Okay. That is an incredible start. So, beautiful. Okay, what, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, thriving. Who are you, group three? Wow, this is... What a combination. I mean, you just don't get better than this. That's incredible. We have to see how this story progresses. Let's keep going here. So I'll draw five tarot and then we'll get some wisdom from Lester Levinson. But 
I mean, with the way things are going so far, you should be giving, giving us wisdom. Let's have a look here. Okay. Okay, and I'll take this one. Here we go. Let's see what's going on here. I was just kind of mindlessly shuffling there. <laughs> Well, this is incredible. I mean, it's just, I'm kind of speechless. It's a great reading. Ten of Wands reversed. If you've been feeling burdened by something, okay, that's this card upright. If you've been feeling some sort of burden, let me tell you, that is soon going to come to an end. Really, things are changing for you massively. Some kind of burden is going to leave your life. You're not going to be burdened anymore. Oh my goodness. We had this just in the last... Everybody who's come to this video, this is just incredible. We had this in the last spread from a different deck. Amazing. So group two people, if, you, if you're sticking around for group three, wow, that's incredible. Nine of Cups, this is like a solitary, I always see the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles as like a solitary enjoyment of something. Nine of Pentacles, obviously, solitary enjoyment of wealth. We had that in group one. And then in group two, we had the Nine of Cups upright. Amazing. And that's kind of like a solitary enjoyment of emotion, of life, of what's around you. And let's all remember with the Vedic way, fortune isn't just money. Fortune is all kinds of things. Fortune is feeling healthy and well and feeling productive. And I want to share things with the world. And, you know, I want to do things and I want to explore and travel and look at this thriving, you know, I'm going to go to on a safari or something. Oh, wow. Imagine. So this is great energy. Let's see what's coming here. Aha, uh -huh, okay, five of wands. Well, you know, I think you have been working for all of this and this is competition, right? So you've been competing, you've been working, you've been earning, you've been, you know, it's but and that's good. Work hard, play hard, right? So there's some of that flavor coming through here. Oh, stunning. This is just, I mean, oh, Okay, I'm very interested to know what's in this. This is just wonderful. This is the Four of Wands. This is happy life, happy home. You've created that beautiful dream home of yours. There's this 1111 here. So two 11s, it's a master number. Um, people often consider this, they can consider this a kind of twin flame type card that you are with that, you know, special someone. You've, you, it's all going great in this card. That's a beautiful card to receive. All right, let's see what the last one is. Oh my gosh, this, like seriously, who are you guys? This is really great. And honestly, if you feel like this is not happening in my life, in my life, it will, okay? Stay positive because all this wonderful stuff is going to come in. You've manifested it right here. I, I do this for myself. I never get stuff like this, right? Like this is just out of this world. So the star, this is healing, this is hopes, dreams and wishes, this is Aquarius, this is the 11th house, this is gains, it's networking, it's opportunities, it's all this stuff coming in for you. This is just amazing. So, wow, I'm just kind of quite speechless. This is a great, great spread. It's also a very bright, colourful spread as well. Look at the amount of color that we've got here. So that's another thing that's incredible about this reading. It's like your aura is clear. It's like the colors are bright here. Everything's shining. Everything's happy. It's it's really great, group three. So wow, let's see what Lester Levinson has to say. My goodness. I don't know how anything in this jar is going to... Well, some of it I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Because I, I wrote these on the weekend, so I've kind of forgotten what's in here. Okay. No. Oh. Not opening. Okay. There we go. Okay. It says, it takes no effort to be what you really are. Infinite. It takes tremendous effort to be extremely limited, 
as you now choose to be. And this really is definitely linking in to the burdens that you have carried in your life. Okay, so you have been burdened. You have carried burdens in your life. Things have been tough. It, it has not been easy. If you are in a place right now where it's not easy, I'm telling you, keep keeping on, keep hanging in there because all this good stuff is wanting to come in for you. It really, really is. And the way to allow this in, to, to bring this in, to have this come in, is to recognize that you are infinite. Your soul in astrology is your sun. And the sun, and I Google searched this the other day, I wanted to see like, does a sunbeam, can it be limited? If it's not limited or blocked, does it just keep going and going and going? And from what I read on Google anyway, it seemed to say that yes, it just keeps going and going and going. Light just keeps going and going and going and going. You are infinite, you are light. Okay, so there's a spark of, there's a God spark of light within every single person. And it's represented on the astrological chart by your sun. And your sun is infinite, it's infinity. Okay, it takes tremendous effort to be extremely limited as you now choose to be. Now this line here is Saturn. Tremendous effort to be extremely limited. Saturn is hard work. Saturn is effort. Saturn is limits. You see, and it, it, it does. And we come into this earth, we come into a physical body, we try to stuff infinity into a box. And that's painful. And, you know, when we realize that the box is an illusion, then our, you know, our, our sun, our infinity can just shine. It can be free. So this, you have been burdened in life. You're no stranger to burdens. But you are learning this now because you've manifested this piece of paper with this handwriting on it, right? So you look at that and you're looking at it. You've created this, what you're looking at right now. So if you can create this advice and wisdom coming to you, imagine what you're going to create next, right? Because you are all there is as well. Let's see what's in here. Because all is one. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Let's go into this one now. What's this? It says... The truth is, oh my gosh, this is incredible. We were just talking about that. The truth is we created the stars and the planets. The important thing is to run them. Don't let them run you. Yes, and when you tap into your sun, when you be the infinity that you are, you're running the show. And you start to see the illusion of everything around you. You start to see how unreal things are and it can become amusing and, and laughable yeah and especially with this incredible high level energy that you've got here i mean you're here guys you're at this place you are doing this wow the truth is we created the stars and the planets because I was just saying you are all that is and I was just saying that you created this piece of paper and this advice on it See, and then, now this has come to say, well, you get this, you create the stars and the planets. And that's, it's, it's hard to conceptualize that. You see, hard to conceptualize concept, Saturn. And hard, I just used the word hard, Saturn as well. Yeah. Yep. Take charge, group three. Take charge, create your world. Create what it is that you want and love it and enjoy it. There is so much beautiful energy that is coming in for you, that wants to come in for you. And I just had the phrase, yeah, the only thing that might be limiting it is your, your own self, but that's self with a small s, not self with a capital S. And your self with a capital S is who you are. That's the all is one. Guys, I'm going to leave this there. It has been so much fun to do this reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. And you're very welcome to leave me a comment below. Let me know how you got on with this reading. Incredible energy in all three groups. I'm pretty blown away, actually. Uh, just, yeah, the group is doing fantastically well. So, brilliant. 
well done and um, let me know in the comments below how you got on I'll try and get back to you if I can't it's just because I'm really busy but um, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time Thank you.